Hey, what's going on, people? My name is Terrell Andretti, and I'm the Narc's nemesis. For those of y'all watching me on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That helps YouTube's algorithm pick up this content and push it out to more people that need it. Somebody liked it for you, so make sure you like it for somebody. If you need a one-on-one -on -one phone session, the link is down below in the description. If you need to talk, if you need to vent, if you need advice custom-made and tailor-fitted to your situation, uh, make sure you book a session. I do all time zones. I do all countries. Uh, so make sure that doesn't stop you from booking a session. Um, my latest single, Love Machine, is out now on all streaming platforms. Um, along with all the other music that I do on narcissistic behavior in my narcissistic experience. Um, it's all searchable under the name Terrell Andretti on all music platforms. Um, a lot of people have issues with me either um, selling my services, which is, um, you know, one-on-one -on -one sessions or promoting my music as well. This is my platform and I'm entitled to do with or on whatever it is that I decide to do. If you do not understand how that works, it's because you never had a platform and you don't have anything to offer. Um, I just don't understand it. People get so caught up in the services or me promoting my music or whatever and the thing is i'm not forcing you to buy anything i'm not forcing you to listen to anything i'm not forcing you to be a part of anything so if the music isn't for you or you don't want to buy into that because you feel like i'm trying to sell you something you don't have to fucking listen to it if you feel like i'm trying to sell you a session or whatever the case is you don't have to get a fucking session. The videos are free. Enjoy the information and keep it moving. Because the crazy thing is, y'all don't give these psychologists and these big name people or whatever you want to call it a hard time. Um, but y'all will go blow all that money and, you know, do whatever. And then y'all will complain when I'm offering actual sound advice or even offering my contribution to uh, narcissist, narcissistic personality disorder. And, you know, somebody always has something stupid to say, and I'm not finna spend a bunch of time, um, you know, acknowledging that. But if a service is not for you, simply don't engage and just keep it moving. You know what I mean? But my platform is my platform, and it's always somebody new. It's never nobody who's been here. It's always somebody new because those of y'all who have been here, y'all already know what's up with me. And y'all know if I see some stupid shit in the comments, I am going to get on your ass because I do read my fucking comments. Um, anyway, um, today's video is about stop having sex with the narcissist. A lot of y'all cannot break away from these individuals because y'all keep having sex with them because here's the thing here's the lie that you tell yourself i'm gonna just be friends with them i'm gonna just be friends with benefits with them now see the thing is where you're lying to yourself is you've already crossed that line of developing romantic feelings for this person so you trying to retract and say oh well you know, now I'm going to just go back to having sex with them or now I'm going to just go back to, you know, being whatever it is with them, um, you know, strictly um, dickly, <laughs> whatever. You're doing it backwards. And you're fooling yourself as a way of maintaining the connection. You're basically, you're feeding yourself scraps, thinking that that's going to suffice for the emotional part of it. You're feeding yourself scraps because you think that's going to take your feelings out of it or you think that, um, that that's going to replace the stupidity of having 
these romantic feelings and dealings with these individuals. A lot of y'all that I talk to, I'll ask y'all, when is the last time y'all had sex? Right before I called you or an hour ago or yesterday or last week. And you're wondering why you cannot break that cycle, why you cannot break contact, why you cannot stay away from these individuals because the sexual um, connection is too strong for you to think you're finna continue to have that. And oh, well, I, I'm going to have it under control. I'm going to just make sure I only... And then the next thing you know, you're still doing boyfriend shit. You're still doing girlfriend shit. Because the sex is... Let, let's be honest, the sex with a lot of these individuals is great. But that's because... It has to be great because that's the only thing of some kind of substance that they have so the devil has to make that part of them extremely powerful because without it if y'all just step back and realize that there's nothing there other than sex they wouldn't stand a chance see a lot of y'all haven't realized that because y'all keep having sex with them so y'all think y'all in love y'all think y'all have a, a spiritual connection Y'all think y'all are uh, riding off into the sunset. Y'all think that's your soulmate. Y'all think that's your husband. Y'all think that's your wife when simply the sex is just good. And it's going to be totally up to you to stop doing that shit. It's going to be totally up to you to stop falling for, you know, whatever game that they're playing because y'all think y'all are having this shit under control and it's really your weakest point is really your weakest flaw because all they got to do is oh i want to see you in person oh well let me just come over there or, oh you know let, let's just keep it a sexual thing when in reality it shouldn't be a thing at all when somebody's abusing you, when somebody's mistreating you, when somebody's lying to you, why are you still rewarding them with your body? When somebody has no good intentions for, uh, for you, why are you still rewarding them with your body? Why are you still talking to them? And everybody's grown, you know, everybody gonna have their one night stands and all that shit. Everybody grown. The point is, you're trying to one night stand, go revert back to one night standing somebody that you had a strong emotional tie to. And a lot of y'all don't have the stomach to do that. That's why y'all keep fucking failing. Because you're trying to one night stand You're trying to prove how much of a player you is Oh I ain't got no feelings for that Oh I ain't got no feelings for that dude woo, woo, woo. Whatever whatever And you're lying And you keep getting stuck Because you keep trying to one night stand Somebody that you're lying to yourself About having feelings for You're lying to yourself about having a connection for Because you're willing to do You're willing to, set, you're willing to settle For anything to maintain that connection. Even if it's a, a quote unquote one night stand, a hookup or a hookup guy, a hookup girl or whatever, you still lying to yourself. You wanna have you a hookup guy, a hookup girl, whatever, that's fine, you're grown, you do what the fuck you want to. But make sure it's with somebody who agrees on that from the jump. Not somebody that you fell in love with, got fucked over and now you will take being the the hookup girl or the hookup guy just to salvage any kind of connection you think you can get from them because you refuse to do the work to actually cut them loose. Stop answering that fucking phone. Stop answering them fucking text messages because you feel like you got to. The person that's really good for you ain't getting a shot because you keep answering the phone for this motherfucker. The healing that you're supposed to be doing is not getting any attention because you keep answering the phone for them. Some of y'all losing y'all jobs, losing y'all houses and shit over these individuals because you refuse to let go. 
you're losing family members, you're losing friends, you're losing out on quality guys and quality girls because you refuse to let go of this motherfucker because you can't keep your legs closed or you can't keep your shit in your pants. Fellas, sexual discipline will solve 90% of life's fucking problems. Ladies, it is very important who you give your body to because I don't care what this new fucking culture says, who you give your body to, how many times you give it up, it does fucking matter when it comes to picking a guy of value. Because guess what? A guy of value will turn your ass down because they see what kind of people you're used to fucking. You don't have to like it. You don't have to listen to it. You can say I'm shaming, but we talking, we, it's real talk over here. And I'm not finna lie for your fucking feelings. You can meet the man of your dreams. And he see what kind of motherfuckers that, that you giving that thing to. Oh, I don't want that. You get that to just anybody. Look at this abusive, lame ass motherfucker you giving that shit to. You think I want it? Oh, no. Property value goes down. I don't give a fuck if it hurts your feelings or not. I'm telling you the truth. Be most selective of who you giving your shit to. If you don't like it, go find the most sensitive channel. Fellas, same shit. You can meet the woman of your dreams. Because I know the all police. Somebody said, well, it goes both ways. I heard them from here. I heard them from Texas. Well, it goes both ways. So let me get the fellas covered before the ladies project it away from them and not soak up what the fuck I said because they want to, it goes both ways, me to death. The woman in your dreams, the woman of value will turn your ass down if they see you used to dealing with trash. Some of y'all need to understand you got trash on your resume, whether you like it or not, whether you want to lie about it or not. Because a lot of motherfuckers say body count ain't your business, you got damn right, but guess what? I ain't got to ask you the fucking number. I can tell by your behavior if you used to dealing with trash, if you used to dealing with a lot of trash. I ain't got to ask you nothing. Because if I pay attention, you're going to tell on yourself. Stop fucking them and fucking yourself at the same time. Again, if you don't like it, if it's too blunt, if it's too much heat in the kitchen, find you another channel. But for those of them that know me, they know this is what it is. Because the world that got too sensitive. Because it ain't no shame no more. That's why everybody doing what the fuck they want to do. Because it ain't no shame no more. Nah. Get that trash off your fucking resume before it costs you. Because the type of motherfucker you think you deserve... They gonna see that shit on your resume and ain't gonna want shit to do with you if it's still on there. Cause some of y'all be dating a, a, a motherfucker that's good, that's worth a damn and still fucking them. And they find out and they like, nah, you doing that? And they don't want shit to do with your ass because you refuse to cut the tie and you refuse to fucking heal. Close your legs. Keep your shit in your pants and go to therapy. Like, comment, subscribe. If you need a one-on-one -on -one phone session, the link is down below in the description. If you need to talk, if you need to vent, if you need advice custom made and tailor fitted to your situation, make sure you book a session down below. I do all states, all time zones, all countries, so don't let that deter you from getting a session. Uh, my latest single, Love Machine, 
is out now on all streaming platforms along with my music about my narcissistic experience all searchable under the name Terrell Andretti some of the songs are sprinkled throughout the videos y'all check them out leave me some critique and they are all oh excuse me they are all available on all streaming platforms under the name Terrell Andretti so y'all make sure y'all tap in and check that out um, if you want to donate to the channel the links are all in the uh, video description um, and I apologize for making the video that I made earlier getting on a subscriber's ass but I can see if you said one thing and got your shit off but that was multiple fucking comments it was four or five of them and I need y'all to understand something. Y'all go check my subscriber count. We almost at 40,000. That is a lot of people. So y'all need to understand, <coughs> respect my time because my time is valuable just like your time is valuable. So I'm not on nobody's beck and call. For those of y'all who book sessions, I greatly appreciate it. But the same way that you don't go into a psychiatrist's office and a counselor's office and think that they just supposed to close down shop to tend to, it's the same thing over here. Because y'all don't go bitching at them about paying for services or paying for therapy or none. Of, don't do that here. Because I'm offering help and some, some of the help is fucking better. So don't do that. Because I'm taking time out of my day, I'm taking time out of my schedule to offer help, whether it's a video or whatever the case, don't do that. Because I do read my comments and for those that know me, I will get on your ass. Another day, another way, you ain't gotta listen, but I know you heard me. 